is your M3 shooting slow and low on the first shot and do you want some more consistency in your shooting? Well, stick around because I can help you out. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Peter and in today's video I will show you a new way of tuning the M3. Not too long ago I was made aware of uh, this new way of tuning and ever since I started tuning my gun like this the group size has gone down and my gun has become much more uh, consistent. One of the things that has also uh, been solved is uh, the first shot that I bet many of you know is uh, slow and low, but uh, with this new way of uh, tuning the gun, this problem is completely solved. But before we start this video, I will advise you very, very strongly to go back to my channel and find uh, the video where I'm talking about tuning, because there will be a lot of references to, uh, to this video. And uh, just to understand this video better, I would strongly advise you to go back and check out that video and understand exactly what I'm talking about. So when you've seen that, come back uh, and uh, continue this video. And now let's pretend that you've done this already and you know exactly how to tune the gun. Uh, let's uh, dive into this uh, new way of tuning. But before we do that, I just want to reminisce maybe because you haven't uh, seen the, the other video, but I just want to reminisce how I usually uh, tuned my M3. Before st uh, starting tuning uh, the gun, uh, I would know exactly which, uh, which uh, velocity I was going for. So let's say that I was going for um, 970 feet per second. Then I would um, tune the gun so that the maximum uh, velocity of the gun was uh, between uh, 900 and uh, 90 feet per second and maybe uh, a thousand. So between uh, 20 and, uh, and uh, 30 feet per second faster than you, you would actually go. And then when you, you have that uh, velocity, then you turn down the hammer and you would uh, reduce the, the tension on the system and make the, the gun more uh, harmonic. And when you've done that, you would take uh, the front valve and gently uh, turn it in just a, a tiny fraction at the time. Uh, in that uh, old video, I would say uh, one eighth of a turn until the velocity starts to drop. And then you would uh, turn it out again just to make sure that uh, there would be no extra air released after the slug has left the barrel. So that makes a more stable slug as it's shooting and thereby giving it uh, more accuracy. And in this way of tuning, I have shot some very very nice groups so it's not because uh, that way of tuning is wrong it's actually uh, uh, pretty simple uh, so that's uh, that's also a way to um, to, to tune your gun but uh, today I am um, putting on a another layer uh, involving the the front valve so let's dive in to that way of tuning okay so uh, let's dive into the tuning um, the first thing you want to do is uh, to establish uh, what kind of velocity that you're aiming for, exactly like in the other video. Um, because I have uh, shot like this for uh, quite some time, I know that the velocity that I'm going for is uh, around uh, 960. So I have my rig at uh, 111, 112. Um, not that it's uh, too important because the setup of guns can be very, very different. And if you're shooting like a 600 millimeter barrel, um, you can't really compare it because I'm shooting the 700. But um, go back uh, two weeks and uh, watch my, uh, my uh, latest video and I'll give you a, a much more detailed description about uh, that issue. But anyway, I have the, the regulator at uh, 112 and I have released uh, the front valve so that it is at two, three, uh, just past the uh, line number four. Um, the tension on the, on the hammer is uh, about uh, 2.5, but I have a heavier hammer uh, than, um, than the standard one. I have a uh, 7.5 gram hammer from uh, Huma, so um, yeah, that's not <laughs> really comparable uh, if, if you want to, to duplicate my settings, uh, which I strongly advise you against, but it's just the theory of, uh, of how to do it. But Anyway, I've released the front valve um, and now I want to, uh, to see how fast uh, the gun is shooting um, uh, with this setup. I have my, uh, my crony setup 
and I'll just uh, gently uh, turn up the hammer to see uh, what the velocity is. So I'll turn up my my app here so that you can hear it uh, as well. 984. Yeah, I'll turn it up uh, just a couple of notches because uh, I know that it it shoots much much faster than that. 1011. 1011. I'll give it one more. One thousand eleven. So that must be uh, around the the max velocity of the gun. So what I'll be doing right now uh, is I'll lower uh, the tension on the hammer spring. So I'll go close to uh, let's say uh, uh, nine hundred and eighty uh, feet per second. So remembering that I'm aiming for a velocity of a 960, but I'm only turning uh, the tension of the hammer down so that uh, I'm, I'm uh, getting a velocity around 980. So I'm turning it down a few notches. Let's see where the, the velocity is at now. 990. 90, that's just a little too high. I'll take it down one click. 981. Yeah, so that's around uh, the 980 that I was talking about. So now uh, we want to uh, reduce the velocity by about 20 feet per second more than what we're shooting at right now. And what we'd usually do uh, in, uh, in the old way of tuning was to, uh, to turn the tension uh, on the hammer down even more. But in this video we'll uh, focus on the front valve. So now we'll control the velocity using, uh, using the front valve. Um, so now I'll just um, turn it down two eighths of a turn. Um, if you have uh, a full rotation and that's uh, uh, divided into eight, uh, I'm, uh, I'm turning it uh, two eighths uh, right now. So let's see if uh, that has done uh, something to the velocity. 977. So not, not much actually. So I'll give it an eighth of a turn. I'm pretty aggressive in, uh, in turning the, the front valve right now, but uh, that's going to change very much, I assure you. 970. Okay, so now we are uh, getting closer to uh, the one, uh, the 960. So instead of uh, turning it uh, an eighth of a turn, I'm turning it like uh, half of that now. So that's very, very small um, turns that I'm doing on uh, on the front valve right now. Actually, you, you can you can say that um, when tuning like this, uh, you can see the the full rotation on the front valve as a one minute, uh, and and then uh, turning it is maybe uh, two or three seconds of that minute uh, is the kind of adjustments uh, that we are out, uh, out, out looking for. So let's see, uh, we had uh, 970 feet per second on the last shot. 960. And that's 960. Let's take a, a few more to see uh, if, it's, if it's fully settled. 967. Nah, maybe not. I'll just take a few more. It can take a few shots uh, to, for for the, um, the hammer to settle in when you're using uh, the front valve. 963. Okay. 960. Okay, so uh, actually uh, I wouldn't touch it too much here. It, it does have uh, some kind of, um, of spread here, but um, when, you are, when you've uh, shot a, a couple of shots, you see that this spread is going down. Um, shooting like this, um, you can get um, a very, very decent spread. Um, 
and I mean down to uh, say between uh, three and four, but sometimes it will it, it, it might be seven as it is right now. But I'm, I mean going uh, having a, a spread between um, say two and seven, that's like a spread that is uh, acceptable. So let's see where it's at now. Maybe just load the gun usually helps. <clears throat> Nine hundred sixty-five. Okay, so we are within this uh, uh, spread range of uh, of say uh, five to seven. So that that's uh, that's pretty okay. I'll just take uh, one more, just because I like shooting. <laughs> Nine hundred. Okay, so you can see that it's actually settling in at around these uh, 963. So that's basically uh, how to tune it and what this does is it makes um, the gun much much more harmonic and you won't uh, risk that uh, the, the hammer is, uh, is hitting too hard and getting this, uh, this, this bounce um, when it hits. So you do get a much more harmonic gun and when you get a much more harmonic gun you'll get a more accurate gun but yeah let's see how accurate it uh, really is It's a little wind right now. That is a very solid group. Um, let's go and measure it up. <clears throat> yeah, and for this one, I just want to. Uh, to bring the camera along so that you can you can see uh, the range that I'm shooting at with the table back there at 100. There is uh, something about uh, people claiming to have shot uh, this and that group, um, so <clears throat> just not to to be marked as a as a cheat. Even though uh, I've said it before, I would love to be called a cheat because then it's because uh, you've done something, uh, <laughs> something uh, pretty special. <clears throat> so I just like to to document it uh, when I've done a, a group like this. <clears throat> but anyway, talking about uh, this way of tuning, I've seen uh, a much better consistency shooting uh, the gun like this. When I was uh, tuning the, the old way, uh, every time I went uh, to shoot here at 100, I, I made groups uh, that were uh, less than uh, 2.5 centimeters. But now I see that every time I go, I go shooting, I, well, most of the times I'm, I'm doing groups, not every time of course, but sometimes uh, uh, some of the groups are like uh, 1.3 and, and, and yeah, maybe up to, to two centimeters of course i'm, I'm uh, shooting bigger groups as well but it's just um, it's more consistent and i'm more consistent in, in getting the, um, the the better groups when i'm tuning like this but anyway um, here i am at the uh, at the target and you can see uh, my my hand here <laughs> uh, 
so that uh, yeah you you have no doubts but anyway this is a group let me just uh, film it here yeah and um, I'm trying to measure it up here with uh, with one hand and it is a let's see that's a uh, one let's see 1.4 centimeter group at uh, at 100 I think that's uh, that's very respectable so yeah for for that the, this new way of tuning is uh, is definitely one that I'll uh, I'll stick to but uh, yeah let's get back to some kind of a conclusion That test went more than okay, and I can easily say that this way of tuning the gun is uh, the way that I'll be doing it in, in the future. And talking about this way of tuning, of course this is not a, a way that I have come up with, and it might be known to some of you, uh, many of you might have done it for, for ages, but uh, anyway, it's new to me and I thought that it would be new to a lot of people. So. Um, I am getting my inspiration from lots of different places and the inspiration for doing this video about this way of tuning uh, came from uh, an, another uh, YouTube channel called uh, AEAC and if you haven't seen that channel you should definitely go and check it out because uh, that guy there is uh, is just amazing. He does uh, factory tours of uh, of FX, and he's uh, at uh, many big uh, airgun competitions. And he's talking to uh, some of the best uh, airgun shooters in the world uh, for for them to share their experiences. And that's actually what he did in uh, one of his videos. I think it aired like a couple of months ago. And he was talking to yeah many of the top shooters at uh, I believe it was Armag actually, uh, where they uh, were talking about uh, how they were tuning their guns. But let's talk about um, this way of tuning because you saw that um, my maximum velocity was just around uh, 1010 and then I turned it uh, down uh, 30 feet per second to uh, 900 and uh and 80 uh, feet per second and from there I tuned it down almost uh, 20 feet so uh, f 20 feet per second so I'm actually shooting uh, about 50 feet per second uh, slower than what uh, the, the gun is at when it's at its uh, max maximum uh, capacity with this uh, regulator setting so I'm not saying that this uh, particular way uh, of doing it, going uh, first uh, 30 feet down and then uh, turning it down uh, with the front valve uh, the next 20, I'm not saying that this is uh, the way, uh, the perfect way to do it, but it's just a way that uh, I have uh, had some good experiences. But it's all up to you now to see what kind of settings that you would like to use, because uh, it might be better to, uh, to have the gun at, uh, say, uh, 995 and then uh, turning the uh, the hammer down so that you you'd hit uh, 975 and then turning it down just by maybe a little over 10 feet per second using the front valve i know that um, there are some that uh, only turn it down by by 10 feet using the front valve and there are others that turn it down maybe 50 uh, feet per second so it's the combination of these values that you have to figure out yourself to see uh, where your gun uh, performs the best because as I said this might not be uh, the best way uh, to, um, to to tune the gun like I just showed you but uh, I've just uh, realized that this is the way that uh, I'm able to get those groups that I just showed you so actually there's <laughs> quite a bit of homework for, for, for you to do and I know that some of the reasons for me uh, shooting an impact is because there are so many ways of testing and so many tests to do and this is just one of them uh, of course there's also because this is a modular build there's so many things that you can change on your gun so if you start to uh, to uh, do the math and see uh, how many combinations there are it's like endlessly and that's what I love about the impact the combinations are endless and uh, it can be so uh, individual what setting and what setup you have uh, on your gun that makes it shoot exactly the groove that you uh, are happy about but that is the end of the video I hope that uh, you enjoyed it and uh, if you like uh, the video 
please uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment in the comment section below. So that's all I had to say today, Mike Water. So until next time, take care and pew, shoot safe.